Good morning, guys. It is morning. I think it's like eight, eight something here. And no, I did not just hop out the bed like most of y'all fave influences with my breath cutting up. I just washed my face and brushed my teeth. Ting. Um, yeah. Anywho, so I think I'm about to do something for breakfast and then get my day started. I just wanted to show y'all this view man this 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 view is astonishing like i'll show i'll put videos in here but literally this is the best view ever so um i think i'm gonna do room service because i don't really feel like getting out this early and yeah let's let's do room service let's let's do room service Alright, so let's see how to get this breakfast cracking. Oh, wait. See this technology. I ain't even what? Wait. No. I stop it. The heck? See, this is why I don't want no smart house, because if I'm home alone <laughs> and stuff like that start happening, no ma'am. I don't know what the heck just happened. I'm interested in room service. So, oh, it's 8.56. It's almost 9. Room service. Um, it's definitely breakfast time. Hey, y'all. So, I just got out the shower. I can see my face kind of red. Um, whenever I get out the shower, I moisturize my lips. And y'all know I love Sky Organics. Hold on. Sky Organics. Can you see that? And I'm using their <laughs> Tangerine Citrus Lip Balm. Mm, this stuff will keep your lips looking right. Anyway, so I ordered my room service, then hopped in the shower. So now I'm about to try to do something to this ponytail, y'all. I don't know what possessed me to throw in this wild ponytail. I never wear ponytails like this. I just wanted something different for my trip. <sighs> and um, only the only product that I have is this Edge Tamer, which is fine, I guess. So... until I go wherever I gotta go. All right, y'all, I know this is super ghetto, but I wanted to wrap my hair up and you know, this ponytail, whatever. Anyways, perfect timing, the food just got here. <sighs> got my little grapefruit juice or whatever. And then my food is in here. So hopefully I can unpack that. All right, y'all, so this is what I ended up getting. We got the buttermilk pancakes with the mixed berries on the side. We got the finger potatoes. 
little butter syrup and then some fresh squeezed grapefruit juice good for the gut if you know you know all right y'all so i'm really about to eat kind of quick and then set my appointments my spa day appointments get a little massage and stuff like that so i'm trying to hurry up because the food took a lot longer to get here than i intended but um yeah the sun is out and i am ready to enjoy this day so i'll catch y'all later Heading to the spa. So I don't really got that. Got a fit on, just going downstairs to the spa. Upon checking in and changing into my robe, I helped myself to the refreshments, which are located in the women's lounge in the spa. Before my massage, I stopped by the Himalayan salt room, which promotes relaxation. And this is a phone-free facility, y'all, so please enjoy these shortened clips. <laughs> to sneak footage in each room of this facility so y'all please go ahead and hit that like button because it was scary <laughs> It's finally time for your girl's massage, so I have to go ahead and get right. This is right after the massage, and y'all felt so youthful and refreshed, like, the masseuse did her thing. This spa is whew, something different. So as y'all can see, I have my shower cap on. I was heading to this eucalyptus steam room. I didn't want to get my hair wet, but I'm really trying to get this sneak footage for y'all because the facility is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is the beauty room where you can get ready after you get all your treatments done and stuff. Now this therapy pool was warm to about 85 degrees, I believe. And it was a really peaceful and serene way to end my day at the spa. This is the last room I managed to get footage of, y'all. This one was really hard to get footage of, but it is a Japanese hot stone bedroom. As y'all can see, I'm laying down, so there is a platform below me with heated stones as the bed, and it promotes, like, you know, healthy blood flow and such. But people were really walking in and out, so I couldn't get as much footage as I would have liked. But this hot bed almost put me to sleep. I've never been more relaxed in my life, like...
feel like a whole new woman, y'all. Mm. After my spa day, y'all, it was about two in the afternoon and I thought it was time to head out. So I called an Uber to take me to my next destination. However, he said he could not find me. He canceled my trip. It was a, uh, it was just like a little minor inconvenience. So instead I ended up walking to my destination, which was about a 22 minute walk. And I didn't mind because the sun was out, um, you know, lots of people and, you know, some sightseeing to be done. So it was really a blessing in disguise. To the link where the what do you call it Ferris well is so hopefully I can still get some tickets for this So this middle-aged woman managed to volunteer to take my pics. The one thing about it is I'm going to speak of, if you ain't hitting my ankles, I'm going to politely ask. <laughs> so the high roller is the tallest attraction in Vegas, I believe. And it's a Ferris wheel ride that oversees the entire strip. So as it gets dark, you all see the sun setting there. You just really get to see Vegas for what it is. I took these silly pictures as my little souvenirs, y'all. I feel like you're never just too old to have fun, you know? But back to the ride. I rode it at the perfect time, right when the sun was setting. I got to see the sun go down behind the mountains. And I see the lights come on, you know, up and down the strip. It truly was a unforgettable sight. And I'm just so happy I got to experience it. of 400 people. Only one word can express how a frontier town turned into what you see today. Dale is in the Hoover Dam, just 40 miles to the southeast. Finally heading back to my hotel, you all, through an Uber, and I got to catch the light show at the Bellagio, so that was pretty cool. You can walk later. 
Oh yeah, all right. It runs every 30 minutes at night time. Does it? I might come back tonight or tomorrow. So I know it's playing music. Is there lights with it too? What's up y'all? All right, so I don't even know the last thing I left off on. Um, after I was at the strip, I came home and I've been knocked out. Well, I've just kind of like been chilling and um, rejuvenating for a couple hours. And now I'm just getting up, getting dressed. As bad as I just want to go to bed with my little introvert self. Um, I'm going to try to get dressed and go out and do a little something, something. So y'all, you remember that faux fur vest I thrifted a couple vlogs ago? I ended up wearing it tonight and I was heading to none other than the infamous or famous catch. Now this restaurant is frequented by a ton of celebrities and just whatever, but I was here for this decor, y'all. Do you see this grand entrance? So I'm trying to do my best with the footage here, y'all. It is a very low lit restaurant, very dim light. As you can see, it's mainly only candlelit, very intimate. As I said, celebrities do frequent here. So, you know, your girl still had to get her footage in. I'm just going to let you all kind of experience this restaurant with me. So I ordered their crunchy rice cakes, which I just thought was fried rice, and um, it wasn't, y'all. This was actually a raw tuna sushi roll with deep fried rice underneath it, and y'all see, this is where I'm trying it, and I quickly <laughs> found out that it was raw tuna on top. Huh? I just remember feeling something slimy on my tongue, and I was confused because, like I said, I thought it was a deep fried roll uh but it was really good the texture was a little off-putting at first but you know i got into it fairly quickly so i finally can say i had raw sushi and i approve
This was really my second time eating since room service breakfast this morning, y'all. So I chowed down. I finished that entire appetizer, which was three or four of the sushi rolls, I believe. And I'm the type of person that I don't really think I ever learned how to use chopsticks. I just kind of use them. A lot how of people they wonder how I <laughs> so yeah, go places call me by out. myself. I do things alone all the time, but honestly, I enjoy my own company. Secondly, I am a people watcher. I love just observing and kind of taking in my surroundings. Uh, my senses are fulfilled. I'm eating new food. I'm in a very beautifully ambient restaurant. And um, I'm staring at people who are staring at me. <laughs> so it's just good times. Honestly, I tried a little spicy jalapeno drink, which I would never get again. But I like I said, say, I'm an experienced type of girl. I'll, I'll do something to say I experienced it in life. People kept and walking by my table it. and like just kind of checking on me, making sure I was good. Um, it was probably the best service I had in Vegas the entire time. I don't know if they thought I was one of y'all little favorite rappers' girlfriends or something. <laughs> I was just playing, y'all. But no, people really were um, extremely nice in this restaurant. And I was grateful because, as y'all know, it's not always easy traveling solo. So... Here is my dinner. I ordered the mushroom spaghetti and it is just what it sounds like. So this dish did not have a red sauce. I don't know what they did, but it's the best spaghetti I've ever tried in my entire life. I ordered it twice. Um, so I went ahead and finished my dinner there. After dinner, I headed out to the restroom just to see what it was looking like, what I was looking like. Uh, flicked it up a couple more times, headed to the bakery in the lobby, got me something sweet, and went to bed. <laughs> 